I'm in, in CAD engineering about six, seven years, and my main focus is uh, electric cars. So I'm designing it and building it. And uh, a few years ago, I chose Peel scanners as my main tool. And basically without it, it will be impossible. So uh, I'm very thankful to to the Peel company that they make so good, so, so good things and so good units to work. Uh, and I will try to show you some tricks that I find out and how to help all you guys to achieve maximum from it. Uh, because the better you have scan, the better parts you can make after it. Uh, first thing I want to show you, it's one of the biggest scan that I made. Uh, it's the Porsche 911 body. Uh, just to understand the size of the file, uh, you can see the size. It's almost 32 gigabyte just scan files. The mesh file by itself a little bit smaller, uh, but the, the scan file is huge. Uh, why so big? First of all, uh, this body was scanned in one millimeter resolution. And as I remember, it is like 13 or 14 scans merged together. So the points that I want to show you and explain the issues that you can have in the future if you start to do some big scans as this one. Third thing that you need to remember and understand, when you scan something big like this, I recommend you to scan from the middle of the part outside to each side. When you try to scan something big and merge the scans, uh, also, of course you can try to scan all at once, but in my experience it's almost impossible because at some point your RAM will be overloaded and you will start losing the mesh and your software will not catch the surfaces. So I recommend you to do uh, scans in the size of this example, for example, like front bay, uh, fender, interior, so not huge objects. In that case, you will have the maximum accuracy and the best result. Uh, also, uh, some other things. To merge the scans together, you need to, you need to overlap the scans and uh, the best way to do it is like overlap like 10 15 centimeters on other part and use the uh, points to join it uh, in these big scans i think you can do about like 30 40 centimeters to overlap the meshes and it will help you to have it perfect uh, exactly this scan was used to build uh, basically my electric project is this one this is just, that's basically a very huge project. I cannot go too deep in it, but this is the rear side of the car that's completely mm, designed. New subframe, Tesla drive unit, battery pack, AC, and all kinds of stuff that you need inside the car. Uh, they're just the back side. So the accuracy of the scan uh, and the position of the model inside the car, which I will mention later, allowed me to build Basically, you can see it at the back of my back. It's right there on the on the lift. Um, the the uh, clearance and accuracy 0.5 millimeter when this is assembled, and it's it's only because uh, the accuracy of the scan and positioning. If you make it wrong, you will not assemble it. So this is very important to have a line scan perfect and have very good accuracy and good scans. And there is more for that car, that's interior part. A lot of this you can find on my Instagram page. Uh, not of, not all of it because I cannot post too much because of uh, customers, that's the front part of the car. So the, basically that's the parts of the scan that you see. So this is the front bay with the dashboard. That's the rear one. That's the two scans interior without seats and dashboard and overlaid the second one to see how the central console fit. So that's basically the main point how to use scanner in, in auto industry. That's something for the brake projects, caliper scan, so that's where I'm using it. So again, if, if this scan wasn't aligned perfect, so here's the points where it's mounted, this one 
and this one and this one so there are six points uh, if this scan wasn't done perfect these points will not align in real life so that's why when you're doing big scans you need to think in the front how you want to overlap your scans and how you want to merge it maybe sometimes you will need to spend more time and scan all at once if it's difficult to merge it but in my experience if you plan it from the beginning it will help you uh, basically also about the car bodies build two can capture almost any kind of surface but uh, the glossy surface i recommend to use it uh, like a spray this kind of spray uh, this is ice soup uh, self operating spray or uh, there's other one that can stay a little bit longer it's up to you uh, also in some big scans if you have like uh, chrome um, parts uh, where is it I, I think I have the photos I think it's on my on my Instagram uh, some chrome parts I recommend you to rub with the uh, paper tape but if you have the chrome parts like uh, bezels or something uh, it's much easier to wrap it with the uh, masking tape and it will not evaporate you will have the same surface uh, and the scanner will catch it much much better uh, if you will have any questions about big scans uh, I will answer it when we'll finish all the presentations